Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I'm in workout clothes because it's been really warm here in California, which I'm very thankful for. And so I've been able to go for walks and workouts outside. So I'm wearing my Soul Cycle shirt right now, which is very comfortable and I tend to wear around the house a lot. But anyway, that's why I'm dressed the way that I am. Um, but today I'm gonna be doing a closet tour and organizational video. I'm actually more excited about the organizational part of it because we just moved and I'm starting fresh with this new closet and I'm really happy with it. I just finished it up and I'll probably do a few more things, I guess, to keep it organized and maybe switch things around. But um, I was pretty much living out of drawers before we moved here. So this was really fun to kind of come here and organize my closet. So I do not have a walk-in closet or a closet room anymore. The way that this particular closet is designed or this house was designed is that the closet is in the hallway leading into the master bedroom. So it kind of has a walk-in closet type of feel, but it's mirrored doors that you can open up. Most apartments and houses have closets very similar to the ones I have, which are mirror doors that open into just a traditional closet. If you get like a closet organizer from Ikea or Target, it can make it look a lot more pulled together and expensive in my opinion of a closet if you're working with, you know, a quote, smaller closet. So that's my tip for, um, working with it with a smaller closet. Byron and I share one portion of the closet. I also organized his side. We've both been focusing on our wardrobes and whittling it down to having quality clothes versus a ton of clothes that aren't of as much quality. So moving on to this part of my closet where the shoes are. The shoes that I don't wear as often but I still wanted to keep, I put in plastic bins. You can use a label maker and put the name or designer of the shoe and put it on the clear box or you can take Polaroids and put pictures. Then the shoes that I wanted to kind of show case my prettier shoes or fancier shoes or whatever. I um, stacked neatly next to each other, one facing forward, one facing behind so that you can see the front and the back of the shoe. And I put those so that they are pretty available um, to see. And then I have the drawers. Uh, the top drawer is kind of miscellaneous. I have some scarves and various dust bags in there. The second drawer is my hats. Um, I have a variation of kind of like ball caps. These are girl brand hats that I really like and just a variation of fun hats, summertime hats, different things like that. Down at the bottom drawer, that is all my maternity collection and a few miscellaneous um, items, but I'm keeping most of my maternity bras, clothes, things like that because I do plan to have more children. And then I have shoes again at the bottom. So that's that portion of the closet. And then we're moving over to the part of the closet that is like my main portion of the closet. You can find these like velvet hangers at Home Goods or uh, Target and they're not that expensive, especially if you find them at Home Goods. And it really does make a difference in how organized your closet looks. So that's one tip for me and also color coordinating. That makes it easier to find items and it just looks cleaner. I've tried a variation of ways of organizing the closet so that it looked you know, visually very appealing, which is kind of what I'm going for. And uh, I found that using the same hangers, um, using slimmer hangers like the velvet ones and also going color coordinating the closet made a huge difference. Moving to the next side of the closet, these are my purses and accessories. I really wanted to showcase the pieces that I really love and that I think are really beautiful. And then the middle section is my sunglasses collection, which I've kind of been collecting sunglasses for a long time. That's one thing that I'm definitely not a minimalist in. I do love sunglasses. So I got a sunglasses case from amazon.com. I do share uh, this case with Byron. So not all of these are mine. We do share and it just makes it look cleaner. It makes it look like a store and that's kind of what I was going for, like a boutique or a store. And um, the sunglasses case really, really helps with that. And on the side is where I keep the sunglasses cases just in case I want to take one with me um, on my travels. So there's that. Then we have the jewelry and accessories. I have a jewelry organizer that I got from the container store, which is really nice. It's like a jewelry box. They're called stackers and you can stack them as your jewelry collection grows. So I really, really like that. And then I kind of showcase my favorite or more worn jewelry pieces that I know I wear more consistently. I got this from Michaels. This is where you can 
keep bangles. And then um, I also have another bangle holder on the back. And so I'm still kind of trying to figure out how I want to organize this area, but I really do like that the jewelry is all in one place and it's really easy for me to just go and pick out all my accessories. So I love that. Okay, so we have the top drawer, which is my bras and underwear. I actually did a video in the summer about how I organized that and I got these organizers again off of amazon.com and uh, that's kind of where I stack my sports bras and my traditional bras and then I have a mesh bag for my underwear, which is great because you can just throw that mesh bag in the laundry if you need to, or you can travel with it, it makes it easier. So, so the second drawer, that is where all my lingerie and um, specialty items are. I organize all that as well, and I have a nice collection of, uh, of various lingerie that I've collected from Victoria's Secret or different stores online or various stores that I walk into on Ventura. But yes, I have a nice collection of, of that and I call it my good wife drawer. It's my fun drawer. So I do have that. And then my third drawer going down um, is like pajamas and socks and all that. So um, I have that. And then all the way to the right, I have my bags. Uh, my handbags are kind of stacked. So at the top I have my Louis Vuitton Neverfull, which I love, love, love. I take it anytime I have to go to work and I need to bring tons of things with me or I'm traveling. Um, it's a great bag as a, like a diaper bag. Um, so I love, love, love that bag. And then I have a variation of different um, handbags going all the way down. These are the bags that I really think that I'm going to use. And if I don't think that I'm gonna use it, I usually sell it or donate it. So these are the bags that I felt I definitely have gotten use out of and I'm gonna to continue to use um, for a really long time. So, all right, so that completed my closet an organizational tour. Hopefully I gave you guys some tips to organize your closet, whether you have a smaller closet or a giant closet, it really doesn't matter. I think it's more about how you take care of the things that you have and how you treat them um, because, you know, it's really important to be a good steward of what you have and I really believe that. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.